Lag. <laughs> we all set? Shall I get Bogdan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing. I hope. Okay, I here we are. Back. Let's play. Uh, yeah, we're back. Hopefully you can follow us better now. Sorry about the technical stuff. We're trying. Uh, and Bogdan is uh, still in the academy and he's just about to uh, get a confession, maybe. Okay. No, I'm getting this confession. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all, uh, we've are all we almost got him. We just have to press him the right way. There are ways in which you press an open subject and other ways in which you press a terrified subject like Yoshi. this one. So he is terrified, his pulse is really up, but he is not open. I have three... Because of the tasing. I have, yeah. <laughs> I have two options, right? Uh, look, you'll be fine, we'll help you compensate the victims, make things right. Ready to sign a confession? Or, listen you lowlife, sign this damn confession right now and maybe we can keep your dumb ass out of jail. I'll go for the I'll go for the tough guy. I'll I'll, I'll be the bad cop. Let's see. <laughs> fuck man, fuck shit. Okay, okay. All right. I'll sign. I did it. Mission accomplished. Report findings. Years later. Okay, Chief Anderson. Hey, I need you to come in on a case. Okay, Chief. Fishers uh, brought in a set of guys. They are in the interrogation rooms. So now I'm like a full-fledged detective, right? Mordecai. Hey, Chief Anderson. We have the Vic's husband, the only witness, and the robber that broke in. We need your questioning magic in there, a confession, because all we have is circumstantial you in. Sure thing, yes sir, uh, fine, fine. This is like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of something. I'll go for, hey chief, I'm kind of in the middle of something. That's fine. So the story is this cox broke in, armed with a locale piece holding this Peterson up and tying him to a chair. Wife comes in, jumps for the phone, Cox drops her with two shots to the back before bolting. We have the gun, no prints. This Peterson was uh, as cool as a cucumber, his wife's body just lying there in the other room. Managed to track down and also grab Cox. Street contacts helped, but we still don't have a clear picture of the murder. Okay, check out the files, grill them cross-examination, get me a confession, you have this. Mm. I can do it, chief! Okay. I'm actually kind of nervous. Okay, going through the file. So, like I, like I mentioned, uh, files are a big part because they give you the whole... A, a set of assumptions you're going with um, going into the, the, the case. Uh, it might shape your initial suspicions about who you should prioritize, uh, but also how you approach them. Okay, so this is the story and it's uh, wonderful so far. Uh, poor Heather Peterson was murdered in her living room in front of her husband, Daryl Peterson. Fun! He was found tied down in a chair in the same room. He claims a burglar broke in and armed with a low caliber gun threatened them, tied them up and subsequently shot Mrs. Peterson as she tried to use her cell phone. Uh, using the description provided and a tip from a local pawn shop, we managed to track down the burglar one Jerry Munch Cox and apprehended him. The gun was found outside the building near the fire escape the thief used to enter and leave the premises. The evidence of the bur burglary is clear, but we still don't have a full picture of the murder. 
which Munch strongly denies committing. What complicates things is Miss, Mr. Daryl Peterson's attitude. The first detective on the scene described him as disturbingly serene. Well, maybe he's in shock, dude. Uh, our best hope of closing the case fast and clean is an admission of guilt. Munch and Peterson have both been held for questioning. You have been tasked with extracting a confession. Okay. Okay, um, so this is Co Jerry Cox, um, he's called Munch, has been identified as a burglar who broke into the Petersons, okay. Uh, his criminal record is quite colorful, colorful and includes car theft, pickpocketing, burglary and credit card fraud. A high school dropout which, uh, with no current employment, Munch is well known to the local police as a troublemaker. Okay. He is the main suspect and has been directly accused of uh, tying down the couple and shooting the wife, possibly impulsively under stress when she reached for the phone. While circumstantial evidence uh, and the husband's testimony points to Munch as the murderer, it is not sufficient for a conviction. He does not have a pass. I need to make him confess. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he has uh, previously taken plea bargains and can per perhaps be pressured into doing this again. Good to know. Okay, uh, Daryl Peterson is the husband of the victim. Although uh, we usually avoid involving family members of the recently deceased in investigation, well, this is vital, okay? Uh, he is the sole witness of the murder, of course, and as much um, as such a key asset. He has voluntarily agreed to be interviewed. Peterson's reports so far have been accurate and led to the arrest of the burglar and main suspect of the murder, Jerry Munch Cox. Okay. However, the police officers of the first unit at the scene reported Peterson displaying unusual calm and composure. This is a suspicion degree of detachment for someone emerging from such a traumatic and stressful situation. This raises some concerns. If Peterson has a clean record, well, he can be a psychopath. So before you go in, uh, what are your thoughts going in? Um, I think this one is a trick one. <laughs> uh, this this is like a trick interrogation. Um, it seems like uh, I. I think the butler did it. Okay, it um, must be the butler. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the husband, but I don't know yet, right? I, I need to question them, but I won't go easy on the husband. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay so we have a question from chat yeah. because Cookie asked uh, that uh, about the files. Mm -hmm. They don't give you every information, right? Some assumptions right. have to be made. Absolutely. Um, because Cookie remembers from a, a stream last time that... Uh, the size of the building, for example, wasn't given, and Cookie assumed the people were living in a house. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, okay, well, but maybe you were talking about a fire escape ladder, so you kind of have to assume some things. Absolutely. Uh, the game is a lot about inferring and deducing from uh, limited information, which is what real police has to, has to do. They, they don't get absolute full briefings, uh, and they have to... Uh, contextualize all the time like uh, this example is a spatial example uh, it's it's relevant but even more uh, important are the uh, personal and personality assumptions and deductions you have to make about what the people will respond to absolutely <laughs> okay so Cookie I'm said, talking uh, they have to learn to pay more attention <laughs> well yeah, you have to be very careful and like look at everything every detail Absolutely, but like uh, the game never uh, fully kicks you out. Even if you fail an interrogation for not having an interrogation, you might catch uh, key information on your second try uh, on that same interrogation. How's Munch sounding? Uh, so I'm going soft on him for now, but he he didn't give me anything outside the fact that he has a cousin in town. Uh, he does not work unless uh, you like bringing food to rich people's tables and I don't like that I'm too smart for it you know okay this is not your first crime is it let's ease our way in they try to control their anger okay so I I think I've opened him up a bit 
uh, why you wanna send me to prison for the old ones again? He says. What made you turn to crime? There's something southern about your detective. <laughs> uh, you've already been convicted once and did your time. Why do it again? Okay, let's go for this one. They stayed with anger in there. I don't think he did it yet. Uh, I was put in the box for car theft, chief. I didn't do uh, that again, so I don't know what you're talking about. He kind of had a point there. <laughs> he didn't do that again. <laughs> yeah. Repeat offenders are punished harsher, Munch. You'll be in a lot of trouble if you don't work with me. Understand your difficulties, but a woman was murdered this time. Help me get to the bottom of this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play good cop here. They state resolutely. Uh, so sure, I'll help you. I didn't do it. Case closed, of course. Okay. Ah, uh, if it was this easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like, in these interrogations, uh, we, we've done a lot of research on what real interrogation techniques are like, what real interrogations are. Of course, in reality, a, a police interrogation can sometimes be uh, eight hours, nine hours, ten hours, uh, multiple days. Uh, we obviously do take some shortcuts and compress these cases to a gameable uh, length. That makes it fun and engaging. Uh, and we keep a realism, at least at a level like TV shows give us, uh, about really getting through to these people within a gameable uh, time span. I can request a hint now, it just popped up on the screen and I will do that. So the hint is any crime needs to have a motive, means and an opportunity. Try to explore these subjects with the suspects. Motive, means and opportunity. Okay. So Okay, before we do that, we have another question mm -hmm. from the chat. Uh, Cookie is asking whether the first investig interrogation is always untimed, because right now in the top right it says pause. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, whether there's a difference between playing the narrative mode and the inter uh, interrogation mode in uh, regards to time. Do I have more time in narrative mode? So there are a few differences between narrative and challenge mode. Whether an episode is timed or untimed is not one of them. So in both challenge and narrative mode, timed episodes are timed, untimed episodes are untimed because they have to do with the real circumstances of the case. The case either has a external factor pressuring time or they don't. Uh, and that's true in both modes. There are differences with regards to uh, how easily uh, the suspects give in and open up. There are these hints that are available only in narrative mode to help you along if you're feeling stuck, uh, as well as uh, a few other elements in the other half of the game, the uh, administration game, uh, and uh, how easy that one is. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, why did you say you became a criminal? I've been through this before. We'll come back to this later. Are you from the city? Okay. You've been around this place enough to know where this is going. Okay. Let's talk about the burglary. And then I'm going to switch to the husband. Why did you choose this specific house? Where were you aware there were people inside? What did you take? At what point did you run away? Okay. I didn't choose it for nothing, Chief. I didn't do it. Whatever it is you want to pin on me. So the fire escape ladder was already down. Were the lights on or off? And what did you use to break the window? the first one although so he was there <laughs> um, yeah it was so he just confessed that the fire escape ladder was down so he was there do I look like a circus acrobat to you again yes it was were the lights on or off I wouldn't go in if the lights were on what did you use to break the window? Why I didn't break no window? It was wide open. Your tricks won't don't work on me, Chief. I'm too smart for that. He's 
describing an open window, lights off, yeah. fire escape ladder down, going in through there. That sounds like a suspiciously easy target. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, were you aware uh, there were people inside? I'm gonna go for the husband. Okay, let's talk about a bit about yourself, Daryl. I think he's a psychopath. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best time to get acquainted, but ask away. Okay. The first few hours must be hard. How are you handling the loss? We have to move on, don't we? He definitely did it. We are doing the best we can to make... This is... I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm being tricked every part of the way. We are uh, doing the best we can to make sure the culprit will be put behind bars, but I need your help to do that. My report says, say uh, you were surprisingly calm when the uh, not yet, not yet, but we'll get to that. You will be deceived. Uh, they stayed calmly. This is good to hear, thank you. I hope I can help when you definitely will. As I said, a loss is difficult. Let me know if you start feeling bad. What you went through can be very traumatic. Do you have any family uh, to help you get through these tough times? Have you taken leave from work to deal with this? Ah, uh, there was no need for that. They fired me months ago. Okay, so he's not in a good place with his life. Uh, where did you used to work? I'm a carpenter by trade. I used to work at Hunenkalut. A nearby furniture factory. <laughs> did, did, did I pronounce that correctly? I, I, yes. Uh, remarkably so. We don't know. We do, we do, and it was a good. Why did you get fired, Mr. Peterson? You do, not we do. <laughs> I worked there for six years, but the boss wanted to hire cheaper labor. You know how these big corporations are, so is the a lot of them, I don't buy that. So while Bogdan keeps playing, let's uh, let's get some visitors in frame. Who who wants to to, to visit? Uh, we have we have Marius over here. Yeah, I've been around. He's our head dev. He's been uh, uh, going uh, lo lower lower so we can see. Yeah, so I've been going all uh, nuts about. Hey, is the stream working? Is the stream stream working? Are there technical issues? Let's bring chat on a tablet. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, so I'm a bit in panic mode right now. But everything's working, thank you, Marius, uh, and for yes. the game. So we have two questions, actually. No, well, one question and one comment. Um, one question about the Hunek Kalut uh, company name. Which language is that? Uh, Danish, uh, Danish, I think. Uh, either Danish or Swedish, I'm not sure. I knew at the time. Um, <laughs> it's especially fun. Somebody from there played the game. And uh, it was extra funny because the word simply means furniture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we, it's better than like calling a computer company uh, Cherry or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we think so. And we have a comment on Steam uh, by Kruger uh, who says that they are digging the art style. That's very cool. So I thought this is a great opportunity to kind of talk a bit about Ooh. the art style. Totally. So uh, there's even uh, an article which, in which we discuss the art style and how we arrived to it at length on Gamma Sutra. But uh, to, to, for the short version, we essentially asked ourselves, uh, what is the signature style that lends itself best to a game about sitting down with people, uh, elevating the concept of, of talking heads and uh, uh, just really having this tense uh, discussion about really getting through to someone. Uh, also, we have more serious subject matter coming into the story as it progresses about uh, radical thought and uh, conspiracy and uh, uh, radical ideas. Uh, and noir and later neo noir, we felt is clearly the signature style for that, uh, and that it meshes best with uh, the atmosphere, the subject matter, the themes. Uh, and so we made everything noir. How to make everything noir while keeping characters realistic was a big challenge. Uh, actors like Bogdan uh, played the characters for us, did the gestures, received direction, and we shot them, shot uh, thousands of frames of uh, these people, uh, took those frames with the gestures we selected, and drew over them. 
in the noir style. We rotoscoped over these characters to create them uh, both lifelike and highly noir in the game uh, for you to enjoy. He just confessed he has a gun. <gasps> okay. Okay, he, he, he's like a vigilante type character and I've opened him up quite a bit. What you're saying, it seems like you believe very strongly in justice. It's a, this was a yellow question, by the way. Is I believe this world will no, live in no needs a bit of change. Okay, so he wants to change the world. The evidence we have now is not enough for a conviction. I am telling you, this is... Uh, this so that you understand why it is uh, very important that you collaborate. We will put the killer behind bars, you can trust me. Yes, we will. I do hope so. Okay, he's opened up really good, like... Okay, as I said, loss is difficult, let me know. Ch if... Chat wants to know, Bogdan, were you hurt during your photo shoot? If I was hurt? Were you hurt, Bogdan, during your photo shoot, perchance? No. <laughs> good, good. No hurting of the actors during the photo shoot. Do I, do I look hurt? <laughs> the phrase I use, we shot the actors. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, I, I was, I was I mean, being a bit mis mischievous now. in the chat. <laughs> I was saying... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got I live for shot. my roles. <laughs> the actors have been shot. <laughs> yeah. I would like to us uh, to talk more about your belief in justice. Okay, so long story short, uh, up until now, uh, he was fired from his workplace and um, he was the only one working, I believe. Uh, his wife was the primary uh, beneficiary, beneficiary of, the, uh, of his salary and she wouldn't shut up about it. Uh, and that seems to make him angry. Uh, and I just... Are you sure about that? If I'm sure about that, well... Now I'm not. <laughs> sure, my belief that world needs a change. There is nothing special about that. Okay. This is Madalina. She's one of our artists. Say hi, hi. Madalina. Uh, she's done a lot of the backgrounds you're gonna see in the game. She's done a lot of the items you're looking at. I should just start asking, like, are you sure about that? After, like, everything you say. <laughs> okay, you said you own a gun. You are not registered as a gun owner, buddy. Uh, so you get these unlocks in yellow, and you can pursue them if you want to. Okay, I'll go for the wife question first. So you and your wife argued often, and she blamed you for getting fired. And he says, uh, yes, she was relentless about it, mostly blamed me for it, wouldn't believe me uh, that my boss was a bastard, uh, that he had it in for me. Women like her always think they know everything. Yeah, I, I know the type of relationship he's talking about. I have, uh, how common were these arguments? New hint available? Uh, it came to the point that we couldn't even be in the same room without fighting even tonight she even started one tonight over some stupid stain on my shirt so they weren't in a good place and the hint says apparently daryl was arguing with his wife the night of the murder try talking to him about his relationship with his wife to see if he's willing to open up. So these hints come in narrative mode. They uh, guide you along in narrative mode. You wouldn't get them in challenge mode. You would have to uh, think, like like consider these options or not uh, on your own. While narrative mode gives you these hints, helps you along with what you might be interested in, like sort of simulates a policeman's uh, intuition. intuition and yeah. experience for you must have been so frustrating for you her concept but the the first hint the one with the motive uh, and the other two uh, motive objective and personality person yeah uh, those were really helpful yeah yeah really helpful I didn't know that uh, it must have been so frustrating for you her concert pestering now it stopped 
Uh, now it's time to stop bullshitting me, Peterson. It's obvious to anyone that you resented what you... I'll go for the... Okay, I've opened up the yellow question and he says, Yes, I guess it was. I just had enough, you know? You've uh, been with someone for seven years, you expect some respect by that point, some consideration, but no! She could be such a shrew sometimes, I'm telling you. And I will say, so that is why you seem so composed about the situation, you actually hated her. And he says, I, I did, yes, I'm not happy she died, but I can't help but feel relieved that she won't be blaming me for all the things that went wrong. And see, now I understand him, and I don't think he did it anymore. God damn it. Okay, it must have been so frustrating for you, her constant pestering. Okay. <sighs> I assume you were fighting over this. Okay. That's what started in that night as well. It was a common thing for us. Okay, I think I've asked all of these. Yes back. Daryl, honestly, who killed your wife? Uh, is it not too early? Should I go back to the other? Uh, if I switch back to the other one, will, uh, if, and I come back to the husband, will he be as open? Try and see. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> uh, you said you own a gun, you're not ready. This is really immersive, by the way. It is, yeah. That's, you uh, said... that's what we're going for with it. I'm, okay, so you had your wife... Oh, I'm going for the gun question first. The state's legislation don't say I need to register. I bought it uh, at a gun fair anyway. What about it? Why did you not report this sooner? It's quite dubious of you. Uh, you should hide such a thing. Why didn't you try to use the gun in self-defense? Hmm. I couldn't reach it in time, I was even waiting for an opportunity to test my aim on filth like him. Okay, so you were prepared for such an event? Of course I was. The way things are going in the city, everyone should be prepared. You are not. You are an officer, you know how dangerous the streets have become. With all the crackheads, the crazy hobos, you need to be ready. I understand your concerns, but most people don't have the stomach to shoot, even in self-defense. Do you think you would be able to? Most people know which... Okay. New hint available, but first his response, yes. When the system doesn't protect you, you have to do it yourself. If uh, we had an armed neighborhood watch filled like that, burglar wouldn't have dared to step on our streets. And the hint says, Daryl hates his wife and had a gun. But, <laughs> but uh, would he be capable of murder? Try understanding what sort of personality he has. But based on what he's saying, he wants filth like the burglar to die. So I think he's open to <laughs> options. Uh, did I ask this? As I said, obviously yes, otherwise that scumball wouldn't be alive right now. So you were prepared for such an event. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Quite harsh views you have, Mr. Peterson. Do you really think this burglar deserves to die? Hell yes, with some people there's no alternative. You have to take things into your own hands and get through. Only way this world will ever be a better place is if honest people stand up with force if necessary. Vigilante just justice, you think that's the solution? There is n so much filth out there and he and the system that's okay. So it is the only solution. Okay. Just you and me. That won't change much, don't you think? There's many of us out there who th think like this. Uh, we found each other online. Like-minded people. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. He is part of an organization, I believe. This is the beginning of the story, right? This is... It's in... Like, luckily, you get to ask. 
willingly. Oh, I'm so privileged. Uh, willing to take up the responsibility, uh, do the right thing. Okay, we. What are you talking about? A political platform? No, no, no. Politics is their game. If we play by their rules, we lo lose because it's a rigged game. We need to, sh uh, to short circuit the whole system, shake up the entire establishment. Oh my god, okay. That takes a coordinated effort though. How will that happen? There's still this group. All the questions are yellow. I'm onto something. There's this group. I was talking about he uh, we mostly meet online forums boards chat rooms it's a great tool to organize ourselves plan things out he's really open right now that's why he's vomiting all this information on me what sort of plans are you uh, talking about I don't know for sure I don't have the rights uh, to the chat room where uh, where things are organized but I will certain it will certainly be big um, Okay, so in the trailer, I remember there was an explosion and I'm linking it to this. Uh, why don't you have access to this chat room? You need to show some commitment beforehand and to be part of the group for a while. I asked for us access, I'm sure I'll get it soon. Who has access then? The chat rooms are anonymous, of course, we know <clears throat> each other by our IDs, mostly veterans, people that have been involved for a long time, they assign a mentor to new people, mine is Hornbunny49, <laughs> silly name I know, okay, uh, what needs to be discussed in such secrecy? Don't know for sure, but it's the place where they assign actual tasks and set up meetings. Things are picking up recently. It's all very exciting to be part of the Liberation Front. Okay. Vigilante Justice, you think that's the solution as this, okay? Liberation Front, that's uh, this group's name. No one voted for it or anything, it's uh, just what we call it. Okay, hint. Daryl owned a gun, has confessed that he hated, it, hated his wife and has expressed extremist views. You should confront him about all of this. Okay. Thank you, intuition. Also colorful. <laughs> Daryl, honestly, who killed your wife? Before you finish that interrogation, the chat has been absolutely loving your reaction to finding out about all of this. <laughs> cool. Okay, they state their uh, voice shaky. What do you mean? That dumb burglar? Who do you think killed her? Are you asking me now, Daryl? <laughs> Seriously, are you asking me? <laughs> to me, it's clear you have no love for your wife, you resent her, I would go so far as to say you hate her. And he says she... I did hate her, yes, I hated her arrogance, I hated her friends, I hated her fucking bonsai trees, I hated the disrespect she had for me, but that doesn't mean I would ever hurt her. And even more, that night you had an argument and you also uh, saw a huge opportunity to blame the murder on the burglar you spotted coming in, is that right? Nice job, brain. Uh, one how, I, uh, I mean... Listen, Peterson, this is the second option. I have you on record saying that you hated your wife and that you planned uh, dangerous activities online. If you don't confess, I'll make sure you are convicted for terrorist intent and you rot in prison for the rest of your miserable life. And the first option is... You've made it quite, cle uh, quite clear, you see violence as a solution, Peterson. You talk with your friends online about it. Uh, you had the means and the motive to do it. Uh, if you believe in justice, as you say, confess. Hmm, I, I like that the first one is more poetic, I think. Okay, before we continue this, uh, one question from chat again. Yeah? Is the game completely linear or are there multiple endings? There are multiple endings as well as uh, 
a degree of branching. There are things that you might access on one playthrough and things that you might access on a different playthrough. Uh, and you have uh, different endings to unlock and they all depend on choices you've made along the way. So in one playthrough, you might have access to some endings. In a different playthrough, you get to choose other endings. Uh, everything Bogdan is doing right now will define what, at the end of the game, uh, he gets to decide. So I he... also really like that like, every time... Um... I, like I've been watching people play this game at events as well, and like every time somebody plays, I've seen something new. Even though, like in this case, for example, now we know the husband did it, but the way you get there is so different. So even though it's linear, there is lots of content to discover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the route each person takes through each episode and through the campaign itself, uh, and the endpoints they reach are all different. Uh, even though the sequence of cases is uh, uh, a fixed one. Yeah, I could have uh, questioned Munch a lot more and there. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Who knows what was yeah. hiding in that corner. And now I need to do that also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's how I play games. Okay, uh, so he's confessing she, uh, while he's crying. Uh, she should have treated me with more respect. She deserved it. And, she, uh, and so does my stupid boss. And so do many others. If we don't take... Uh, things into our own hands. Nothing will ever change. I thought you understood that too. Report findings. <laughs> yeah, the graphic is beautiful, by the way. Uh, interrogation successful. With the confession uh, secured, Daryl Peterson will be going to jail for a long, long time. By the way, Catalin is the one who animated that. Yeah, yeah. Catalin, have... show your face. Show your Can face. Get Catalin? Hey. This is Catalin. He's uh he he does everything. Uh, he, I do a lot of stuff. He yeah. works programming elements, graphics elements, sound elements, whatever Hello. we need. Catalin's our man. Uh, nice to meet him. And can we also get Theodor? God damn it, I have. A now that if now that you're done with Munch, uh, he's what also do he also backs today? up our our uh, our uh, business admin and everything we need. And he was also Munch just now. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not dead. He's not dead. He's fine. Yet. <laughs> I remember uh, seeing this character breathe. I remember when I was shot. <laughs> uh, I had to do the the different uh, breathing in and out uh, body type poses for the breathing. Yeah, uh, it, 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 like getting the you can you can keep going, but getting the actors is uh, remarkably. Uh, hard because we need their breathing. We need them scared. We need them uh, sympathetic. We need their blinks. We need them blinking uh, So that we can put everything together. I Also have the transcript of the interview and I can guess come back to it, right? It's your review Okay, so here's the chief <laughs> This is actually a, an amazing improviser uh, And he's an IT guy, but it's amazing to see him here. This is his true self. Yeah. Uh, good work in there. Uh, I have something important I need to discuss with you. Okay, boss. Uh, but before that, I need you to finish up the press release we're putting uh, out about this case. Help them word it. Nice. Uh, then come see me. Okay. Uh, STPD press release, the investigation involving the murder of Heather Peterson, uh, which resulted in the arrest of Darren Peterson, 41, and Jerry Cox, 26. All evidence pertaining to the case have been directed to the relevant authorities uh, with the full cooperation and counsel of the STPD prosecutor counsel. Um, dot 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 and their cases will be taken to a criminal court and I click to cycle through different options okay they will be treated following judicial procedure the criminals have been incarcerated they will be I will go with this one sounds better <laughs> <laughs> sounds uh, like by the book so while Bogdan picks the rest of his wordings, all these wordings have impact. Uh, the choice of words you make has impact on uh, how you're seen by uh, your bosses, by City Hall, by the public, by the press. Uh, and you'll get to see uh, all of that is a huge part of the game because it's not just a question of getting the answers, it's a question of maintaining all of that uh, in such a high pressure situation. So every word he's picking 
uh, matters for uh, the game, for doing well in the game, uh, as well as for his eventual ending choices. Uh, they all incrementally add up to that. So, yeah, I I think the boss will be um, mad if I go with not initially a suspect instead of the main suspect. Uh, and it's really nice because now you get to uh, kind of control how the story gets out there. Wow, this is nice. I didn't ex expect this. Uh, the victim's husband? No, I'll go for n the truth, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Due to the confession, the manslaughter charges against Jerry Cox have been dropped. Okay, uh, and we will only face prosecution for breaking and entering and theft. His involvement in creating the circumstances for the murder uh, to happen will be investigated further. Evidence suggests he had no violent intent and no connection to the murder. You didn't get to talk to him that much, did you? Hmm? You didn't get to talk to him as much as you'd like. Yeah. His involvement uh, in creating the circumstances for the murder to happen. Uh, I'll go for evidence suggests we had no violent intent and no connection to the murder. Seems clean. But no, uh, <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> His involvement in creating the circumstances for the murder will to happen will be investigated further. Okay, sounds good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think like the press release is actually one of my favorite parts of the game because it yeah. changes things in such a subtle way and like you really have to think about your words and it really, it's uh I think it's really powerful to think about how just wording the same fact slightly differently uh, can change everything. Okay, so now I have to pick an old memory. Uh, and if I click on these, uh, I have five options. Speed Demon says, uh, you have more time to interrogate, but can... Oh, these are superpowers! Uh, you have more time to interrogate, <laughs> but cannot access files during or before interrogation. So fuck it, we'll do it live. Nice. This is really nice for the uh, people that don't have the the um, patience. patience to re go through the files. No. Profiler. Uh, reading reactions and emotional states is a science to you. You have an exact evaluation in numbers of how fearful and empathetic the subjects are. I like this. Um, okay, intimidating presence. This also sounds good. Uh, you have mastered the use of threats and silence to cow your subjects. Okay, a dog that barks is a dog in insufficiently <laughs> boiled. Wow. Okay, Chinese saying. Known pacifist. You always follow procedure and are known for it. Subjects have more empathy towards you, but you have trouble frightening them and cannot use enhanced interrogation. Okay, and scholar of ideology, you have keenly studied extremist ideology and may use that knowledge when talking to people with radical conviction. This one seems good in the long run, but I'll go for profiler. I like to see numbers. It, it, I don't know. There are future picks as well. You can pick up scholar of ideology later if you really want to. Okay. Back to the chief. <laughs> This liberation front business you uh, got out of Peterson, it seems to be pretty serious stuff. Uh, they've been claiming more and more uh, hits and seem to be behind things like assaults on politicians. They appear to be expanding their operation uh, chiefly in your uh, in our city. So I've uh, talk, it, uh, talked it over with the powers that be and we've decided you're the best person for the job. You'll be heading up a small unit to combat these guys. We are pulling some sort, some of the best people from other department departments to work with you. Not gonna lie, this uh, this uh, unit'll mean all eyes will be on you. Try to keep everyone happy. Okay. But most importantly, stop these bastards. Rest up, see you tomorrow. Okay, Chief. 
Congratulations on your new assi assignment, detective. Let me introduce some of the people you'll be working with. This is Tab Thompson, analyst extraordinaire. Tab, I look for forward to addressing the threat of the Liberation Front with you, detective. And this is Jennifer Reyes, uh, organized crime department's best. The Jennifer Reyes is, is such a cop name. <laughs> <laughs> Delighted, de uh, Detective. Mordecai Fisher, who we pulled off from Homicide, will also be helping you out in the field. I believe Mordecai Fisher will be resentful for this. <laughs> I'll uh, leave you to it. Okay. Shall we head out and talk some shop over Han at Hannigan's? Okay, let's go out for a beer. The meeting room is not being used. Okay. <laughs> So, I have two uh, kind of assistants, right? Well, colleagues. Colleagues, okay, colleagues. Uh, Hannigan sounds great, let's take the meeting room. Let's just go straight to our desks, the chief's already assigned. So, I will make one of them happy and one of them not happy. I, I kind of feel the need for a beer, like a actual beer right now, so... There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> okay. This so, wasn't scripted. Okay, just give me, give me, give me a chuck, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> my throat. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Hannigan's was nice. Okay, this evening is amazing, by the way. Okay. Absolutely, free beer service will not come with the game. Yeah, no, no. This is not a game feature. It's a critique gaming. Well, our studio. headquarters is in a bar, so. Well. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some live action, boss, says Jennifer. Um, Morty's out there uh, with some badges grabbing our three suspects for who that horn bunny might be. Uh, Tab says, I do hope Mr. Fisher practices restraint. I know him to be rather abrasive when bringing in people. I'm sure Morty means well. Well, the terrorist among them deserves to be abrased, abrased, abrased. Procedures important, innocent until proven guilty. God damn it. Okay, yeah, procedures important. Okay, let's play this by the book, please. I'm going to get the rooms ready. Okay, there's an update being pushed to the chat room software. Darn, it seems that the Liberation Front have found out about our move. Uh, they triggered the reallocation of passwords for the chat room. It's just a matter of minutes before the current password becomes useless. Well, we have to acquire a new one ASAP. God damn it. They're here. Get ready to interrogate them. We'll line up the files. Okay, I believe this will be timed. Uh, incident narrative. The, liber the Liberation Front is plotting <coughs> online using password protected so, forums. So, Bogdan is going to now go into a... Uh a timed episode because there is an external factor uh, like the the case he's reading now and explains and like the the introduction has explained thus far the Liberation Front n knows to some degree that uh, they're being looked for and is trying to lock out any options uh, that the password they can get right now is of any use and he will have to obtain the password log in successfully before that happens to maintain, uh, to obtain and maintain access to this <coughs> chat room uh, from within which he can find out more. Most of the private channels in this chat room, Hornbunny49. Uh, now we need the password. Using IP tracking, we've managed to narrow down the user ID to three possible individuals. None of them admit to can being Hornbunny49. And as such, are now uh, held for further questioning. The Liberation Front caught wind of our inquiries, initiating a mass reset of passwords and access permissions. We only have minutes to find. Okay, so, uh, Suspect Beal. Um, Diana O'Donnell. Has one of the IPs that might have belonged to the Liberation Front. Okay, handle... Uh, on the pet care chat room. Diana is what is called an alternative model doing modeling, modeling work as well as the occasional acting job under the stage name Sabina Jones. 
She dropped out of medical school and was a nightclub entertainer in the past. Several of her known associates have been suspected of um, or charged with narcotics related offenses. She hosts a blog that regularly critiques modern life lifestyle uh, trends. Tattoos, cartoon rabbit, rabbit on back, not a tramp stamp on the lower back. Okay. So while uh, while Bogdan looks at the suspects, I want to uh, walk away. Uh, Michael works as a pet stylist for a boarding kennel and saloon that he co-owns. A humanities graduate, he's an aficionado of the city's underground theater scene and a card-carrying member of the Democracy Party. <laughs> he he's like built to not have done it. Stream. This is Mihai. Uh, he's a writer. Uh, he's helped us with uh, with uh, lots of the content of the game, uh, and we'll show you the third person who's been helping us out, uh, Dexter, who's also our lead uh, when he gets in. Uh, hope you enjoy the game. Hope you like it. I hope you hope you don't beat up too many of our suspects. Bogdan hasn't beat up anyone. No, Excellent. no, no. That's no. Great. Just the the tutorial beating up, which I, he uh, has, to. which good, I had. Good. So yeah, hope you like it. Thanks. Uh, okay, so Fred uh, works as a risk analyst for a major bank, uh, thrice divorced, he practices airsoft and plays field tennis, he has repeatedly threatened to sue us while we were holding him for questioning. So the way I see it, we have three suspects, one is, looks like it, it the, the girl looks like she, she could be it, Diana, the second one, no way. Uh, and the third one is like, eh, kind of in the middle. Okay, bring them in. Okay, seven minutes. Fuck. <laughs> um, how are you, Miss O'Donnell? It's not real time, by the way. It's turn-based. Oh, oh, it's turn-based. We'll, we'll oh, okay. You'll get to see. Okay, it's nice because I feel the need to smoke during this, <laughs> and I will. At when home, I, yeah. Yeah, at home, yeah. yeah. So, like, a great way to enjoy interrogation is uh, having a smoke if you're a smoker, on your couch curled up in a blanket, in bed, uh, we, we want to do all that. Uh, we want to get it on tablets in accessible fashion uh, because it's a, it's a great cozy game. It's good to play with a party, discussing like we're doing right now. It's also a good game to treat sort of like a book, you and the story, uh, and just dive into it because it gives you all this good, healthy immersion. How's uh, Diana looking? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's about five sec. No, it's exactly five sequ uh, seconds per choice. Uh, let's talk about the pet care chat room. Yeah, Cookie just said that the time constraints uh, uh, suck because mm -hmm. they like clicking everything. And I'm the same. Like, I like to like ask them, like, okay, tell me more about you. How's your dog doing? And, and stuff, so I'm like also very tempted to kind of waste time. But Absolutely. But the, you can restart. You yeah, the, the good news is any episode you can restart, you can get to the end and start it over. So none of the content gets locked away. But yes, the challenge of it is getting at least at some point a uh, win within the time limit. As well, since you're a profiler, you now have these numbers telling you exactly yeah. uh, how fearful or open they are. I have a lot of tattoos, honey. No connection. Okay, she she's a tough cookie. Uh, do you know? Okay, I know many people, but not those two. Okay, uh, she she's not okay with the ideology of the Liberation Front, and is not okay with uh, murdering people. So she doesn't like them. But that could be a lie, right? Uh, do you have any pets? <coughs> no, I don't actually. Well, okay. Uh, be... We have a question from the chat. Um, hmm. How does the game save profiles? So the game has uh, allows you to store different save profiles so that you can play in different ways on different playthroughs. Uh, you might want to play uh, I don't know, as yourself, as it were, on one uh, on one of these save files. 
then start the game on a new save file. Maybe it's not even, maybe one is in narrative mode, the other is in challenge mode. Uh, and maybe play as an aggressive cop, or then try to see what it's like as playing as a perfectly sympathetic cop. Or you can try different things on different save files, especially since the campaign uh, progress, how you're doing, how you're being seen externally, has to do with each uh, campaign you play. So you can have uh, different, from the main menu, you can access different save profiles uh, that let you try different things uh, in your overall playthrough. And even access different ends on different uh, such save profiles. Some questions about uh, some of the nicknames in the chat. Mistress Meow. Okay. Okay, I'll switch to someone else. I don't think it's her. I'll go for Fred. Let's talk about the pet care chat. How are you? Being dragged in here. Excuse my colleagues. I have been rushed here, but time is. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, well, sorry to bother your fat ass. It's not as if we're trying to save lives. Okay, I'll be polite. Uh, would have preferred that excuses to them. Okay. There goes the monetization. I think it got... Yeah. It went away... <laughs> lots early on, of, early, early on. on what, what happened? Uh, no, no, we're, we're talking about the mature uh, content yeah, of the magic. game. We, oh. we, we wanted to make a game that talks like real people do. Mm -hmm. uh, real people don't talk too clean too often. Yeah. Especially not under pressure in the middle of an interrogation room. Uh, and yeah, we the, the game has mature elements uh, because it has a mature theme and mature subject matter and uh, goes for a degree of realism. Yeah, I, I like uh, made that joke because in, in one of the streams where Andre and I even like read out everything, uh, Munch kind of like he has <laughs> a colorful vocabulary. Let's put it like that. And like we were like, okay, monetization gone within the first two seconds, basically. Uh, Moist <laughs> said here, uh, the person who played Munch uh, also has an equally colorful language, so. Yeah, you wouldn't want to talk to me like that I'm tired or excited because I also use uh, strong words. <laughs> he left. It must be nice having a pet to give you comfort during those lonely moments. <laughs> Uh, let's open him up. Yeah, I've opened him up almost completely. And uh, his outlook is. Uh... Hmm. And his outlook's notable on the. Yeah. It's not about pets. It's about humans. Yeah. Okay. Do you know Mistress Meow in the chat room? First of all, I've never seen him around, no? Come on, Fred, you can trust me, this is very important. Since are you born 149? Not yet. I might have Yesem approached her. New hints available. Our suspects probably knew each other's nicks nickname, see if any of them tries to like you. Hmm. Um. Should I roughen him up right now? I don't know. I'll try it. If you like me, more, things will get better up for you. Are you on the hockey? Let's go for this. You can threaten me all you want. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I like how you're like switching between being a super nice cop and and, uh, and then like switching up to should I like roughen him up? <laughs> it's because um, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> I have some um, we also have a kind of question from the chat. Uh, Cookie said that they love the chat names uh, and would love to know how you came up with those. <laughs> 
Um, I, I don't like the answer to that kind of spoils things for Bogdan. I will get into it after he wins. Uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> So if the timer goes out, I don't find the password, I lose the game, right? Yeah, but you can retry. <laughs> okay. But you can retry, but it means starting over. Okay. From the beginning of the interrogation. Oh, shit. Okay, so you're the terrorist known as Juan Panino. Opened him up quite a lot, and it. I, I'll switch. What happens if I go for this one? Okay. If I go for the red question, does this fuck things up? No, you were told in the tutorial that you can try the red question every now and then to see how it's going. It's a perfectly okay. legit strategy to check the red question every now and then. You might be close enough, you might find out what's missing. Nice, nice. My intuition and the hint was were thank you, uh, Fred. Uh, so he says, I think uh, what the Liberation Front is doing is right. I won't betray them. Fred, the Front will hurt innocent people. They're pets too. You're a good guy, and I need your help. You better tell me, Fred, or I swear I'll, I've opened him up. I don't want to frighten him anymore. Uh, I'll go for the good cop. And it worked. There you go. Good Go job. On. I'll give you the password. Okay. You're speed running this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and That's quite knows. amazing. I actually, ne I, I never managed to do it that fast. Wow. <laughs> and Bogdan is at his first playthrough. Well, uh, I'm an actor and I read people, you know, I, uh, I need to interpret uh, feelings. So. Not to rain on anyone's parade, but narrative mode helps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's too uh, hard. I forgot about this aspect. <laughs> so I, I don't know if these exact steps that Bogdan did would have worked in challenge mode. It's a little harder. It requests you to, I believe, explicitly First, find out from Fred that uh, he's Horn Bunny in a very explicit fashion, and only then can you actually okay. realistically get to it. This was made a little easier. About the nicknames, while he does the press release, um, our question usually when determining things like that is, what would these people really, uh, really uh, have as nicknames? And uh, we have uh, Diana putting in something with personality, but she was there undercover for research. We have. Uh, Michael putting in something more sassy, uh, like a princess dollar signs. And we literally thought, look, this uh, uh, middle-aged man, what nickname does do they put in? They don't, they just click the auto-generate and keep it. Uh, <laughs> and the auto-generate adds his age to the nickname, adds an animal name, because it's a pet name, chat room, uh, makes a pun on it of some sort, Horn Bunny 49 generated nickname, he just stuck with it. Uh, in a certain path of questioning, Fred, you can even find that out in the episode. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it, 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 it makes sense. But I also didn't know that, so I'm really happy that you asked, Cookie. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I get in the press release, I can actually... Um get the Liberation Front name to the public and I don't want to do that just yet because maybe more people will follow, I, I, I have no idea. And I'm going to go with the... What are you calling your unit? My unit is Peace and Stability Sims 2 Boy Scout to me. <laughs> Retribution and Justice seems too dark. Truth and Order seems like a shining armor in it's okay i'll go with truth <laughs> and order okay let's go for that okay a confessed sympathizer um being proven their innocence along with his confession fred in his interview also uh, yielded relevant information regarding the terrorist organization 
password to a secure chat room and all. Re relevant information is Jay. fine. I'm gonna put Bogdan for a while in the hands of uh, Andre. Uh, Andre is our uh, lead in the company and he's also uh, one of my writing helps. Yep, awesome. Uh, hi chat, how you doing? Uh, We're just past yeah. episode hi, two. Uh, hi Bogdan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Awesome, awesome. Cool. Uh, just past episode two. Okay, okay. Then things might get uh, interesting then, uh, quite, quite soon, <laughs> I guess. They seem to be using code words, okay. Oh my god, okay. I can set up a smart algorithm that can detect possible meanings from the contextual usage of words. Or we could simply try to figure <laughs> it out directly. No, yeah, no. so it's like a, a more a more uh, human, uh, intuitive approach or a more uh, a scientific approach, and you, you're left to decide. I'll go for the um, algorithms. Codes may be deceiving to the naked eye. Let the art algorithms do the work. Tell me what pops up. Do both. We can set up the algorithm and also try to figure things uh, out manually. We can do both. Okay, but will it be? Uh, um, yeah, let's do both. This will mean that both of us will be busy working on this. We may have a hard time responding to other issues that pop up. Okay. Oh, fine. Forget the algorithm. Uh, then intuition will be out. No. Uh, let the computer do the work then. Yeah. So I have no idea what to choose. Well, it's uh, it's more of a it's an intuitive choice, and it's exactly the kind of choice such a detective would have to make, uh, even if they're no experts uh, on well, yeah any of these two approaches. Chat just asked uh, if. Uh, the game is completely linear or it has multiple endings and uh, I'd like to answer uh, and the answer is uh, so it's not completely linear there are many optional things happening throughout it and it has more than one ending uh, and everything that you do like everything that you do impacts the ending Oh my god, okay, so uh, I think I'm entering a phase of micromanagement, right? Yes, yes, you will have I to love this. manage a bit your department, both in terms of uh, its budget, but also in terms of um, what exactly your agents will be doing on the field. Okay, on top of their core investigation work uh, for the team. Uh, how will they'll do is determined uh, how well they'll do uh, is determined by how motivated they are and how much they task uh, the task fits their background and expertise as with kind of any human being out there and it's a question that any person on managerial position has to deal with now we're talking about hr report something that you can uh, always purchase wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can always try to outsource an HR report. It costs money, of course. Uh, you're getting the first one for free, but it's only the first one. From that, that point on, you're going to have to actually pay for them. And now we're being uh, told how it's important to keep a good relationship and reputation with multiple stakeholders, uh, all relevant stakeholders for such a... what the consequences of each choice will be before I make them. I'll ask him that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's your job to evaluate what uh, the consequences and risks of each action and option might be. Game developer speaking to you right now? Yeah. Use your reason, use trial and error. But this isn't the police academy. Things are not transparent and don't have uh, don't have fixed and easily predictable effects. You think I had any idea uh, hitting on that redhead back in college uh, would mean I now have to go to marriage counseling? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. That's what real life's like. Hallelujah, buddy. Yeah. I love that little like piece of dialogue. It's so good. <laughs> Yep. And it's actually a piece of dialogue we added sort of uh, while talking to testers and talking to people playing it. Because 
games uh, get you used to telling you what things will do. And it's a rule of games, this is just a game, it's not real life. This is what each thing does. And you kind of uh, magically and or divinely know what the consequences uh, will be. Yeah, uh, as you can foresee in the future. But in real life, we need to do guesswork. Uh, and the game tries to kind of portray this. Because we're showing you the difficulties of real law enforcement, which are not knowing exactly what everything will have as a consequence. Yeah. So uh, now Bogdan is kind of uh, discovering all discovering that. what he can do with money. Money is a very powerful tool in today's world. Uh, so we give you uh, some money. But he has a hefty budget being in narrative mode. If he were in challenge mode, this budget would be tighter. Yeah. Yeah, I normally play in challenge mode, and when I, like the budget was announced, I was like, "Why does he get so much?" Yeah. <laughs> I want that too. Yeah. <laughs> and because he has an HR report, uh, now he knows exactly the rate of success for each individual. Uh, this is awesome. Okay. For each individual uh, agent, but if he didn't have an HR report, uh, he would have to guess it. Yeah. Uh, so that's to a certain extent what HR reports cost you, but they're quite expensive. They're one thousand uh, dollars. So for players that want to not have to do guesswork, uh, we offer them this option, uh, as it is. And it might unlock other things too. You don't know. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I, I'm uh, evaluating the. The missions I can send them on. What sounds interesting for you? Um, right now, the, the the thing that sounds logical is actually uh, so. This uh, mission is work with the district attorney to bring um, charges to the animal care chat room hosts, uh, hosts and blah blah blah. Um, and Jennifer has a rate of success of 100% and yeah. Tab has a rate of six, success of 40%. Yeah. What and does it, this uh, say about their uh, personality? It makes you? sense, yeah, because she, Tab was the one that um, said uh, uh, the stuff about algorithms and so on. And Jennifer was the one using intuition, so I can send Jennifer on human missions <laughs> just yeah. to, and just to show you briefly if you go back to the office for a second oh okay. everything stays here you can even check out uh that folder oh for, okay uh, stuff about the your team and the newspaper for what's going on oh oh we haven't showed any of these right uh okay so let's go back to the briefing well, well, group this, this one's take, okay take them in yours right the heraldic making sense, okay, the liberation front like, and me. We won't read all this on stream, we'll just skim it. But essentially you get a lot of insight uh, about what's going on in the game's world uh, to better f give you a frame and context. Yeah. Uh, they help in very, very subtle but important ways. Go to the detective as well, just to showcase that world as well. So we also give players uh, oh my God. this thing. I've wanted to have such a wall since since I was a kid. Yeah, uh, fun story. We at oh, we most been. events at which we act participated, uh, most uh, game um, trade fairs, uh, we've actually set up such a wall. So here the player can review and revisit most things from uh, what they've already seen, and that's. Uh, how we want to help players, uh, to a certain extent, make sense of the overarching plot as it thickens and develops. And uh, it will thicken. It's already thickening. Yeah, here you can review what you learned at the Academy. Okay, uh, HR report. Yeah, so here you can see the motivation level of each agent. Uh, so Jennifer is now on very high, but Tab is on moderate. Yeah. Uh, these, these motivation levels start off equal, they're varied because of choices that Bogdan has already made. Yeah, exactly. And now uh, Bogdan could go and read uh, all of the agent backgrounds to have uh, insight on them. Mm -hmm. I actually read them last stream, so if anyone's interested, uh, you can find a video on YouTube. Uh, Cookie asked, does your budget carry over if you don't spend it all now? Uh, the yeah. answer yes. is that yes, yes, it does carry over. The chief over. just explained it. Yeah. Does it now? 
Yeah, so we give uh, we give players the chance to kind of save money. Uh, another layer of strategic decision making. <laughs> From big to superhero, okay. Yeah, so uh, you need to, just like in real life, you need to keep a good relationship with different stakeholders. Uh, that is the press, the population at large, and uh, other authorities, the people that actually can, you know, like pay you. And if any of them drop very low, there will be negative consequences. Uh, just like in real life, if you have a very good relationship with somebody, there will be positive consequences. Just like in real life. Uh, and in terms of negative consequences, these things uh, can, get, can get worse than just these, uh, let's say, more... Uh, if you continue having a bad relationship with somebody uh, probably won't be able to keep your uh, position as lead detective for long. Okay. So what are you prioritizing? Um, I think Tab needs to go to therapy. The therapy is for you. Oh, therapy's for me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We take good care of you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Therapy is for you. Okay, uh, by the book, uh, make sure everything's done by the book. Write up details, reports to do the paperwork, get all the permits and confirmations needed. I'll have Tab do this. I, I don't know, formulate budget for Peti Petition authorities, file your deductibles, optimize all you can get. Okay, yeah, this seems nice. Track murder weapon going to. The you have field. another question from the chat yeah. while you're like planning your budget and stuff. Um, we have a question about uh, how long is uh, like how long is the game in total? Like how many hours of gameplay do we have? So that's highly variable in the sense that you might want it, like if you just prefer a slower pace, considering every option, reading every tidbit, every newspaper, every little element, uh, trying things over, reading slow and taking your time. It can be something like uh, 12 hours. Uh, if you like to wham, bam, 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 try to go fast in narrative mode, you might see yourself through it in six hours. I think 10 hours is a fair average, uh, eight to 10 hours, uh, depending on your speed of play and reading. Uh, eight to 10 hours is a typical uh, one playthrough. There are lots of reasons why you might want to try a second playthrough to unlock different endings, to try different strategies, to see different scenes. Uh, and that's the, the duration we're working with. Yeah, as I said before, I think like I've uh, kind of um, seen this uh, interrogation being played at events. So and so I've watched multiple different people play, and every time, uh, like no, most of the times, I've seen something new. Like it feels like I, uh, sometimes I blink and somebody clicks a question and I hadn't clicked before, or <coughs> somehow reaches a different connection, and then suddenly. I go like, how did they get there? How did this person say this? I've never discovered this before. So I think there's lots of playability to kind of figure out different ways to approach things. Like we, we really, when we play games, uh, we really love to feel that a specific game playthrough we have is our own, is the way we played and not many people play the exact same way we did. So we wanted this to be available in this game. Although the overall story is broadly linear, uh, the path you take through it uh, is yours uh, in, in so many ways and uh, potentially nobody will play exactly the same as you did. Uh, I, I need to plan this now, right? The budget for the yeah, next Yeah, you month? need to take some options. Okay. You, you decide them now. I'll get the HR report. I will... You can save money for next month. Yes. I will get some... APR report for now. And I want to... Um, Uh, sign over the time. To, uh, what's the one with the community outreach program? Yeah, two over time. I'll, I'll do that. A one, a two, and a six. <laughs> okay, I'm a one, a two, and a sixer. Okay, continue. Uh, 
answer a few of uh, the reporter's questions. Okay, this is Eddie Walker from the Heraldic. Greetings, officer. Are you ready to get started? I'll leave you to it. Let, let's make this snappy. Let me get my files first in case I need to give details. Let me clear the room first, make sure we have some stuff. Get my files. I'm transparent, bro. So first things first, how does it feel to be assigned lead to such an important task for, for uh, force? I prefer to stick to discussing technical questions, please. I'm not looking to... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm on, uh, it's an immense responsibility, but uh, we'll put it in the effort every day and every night to stop these bastards. That's kind of harsh. It's the police's responsibility to make the city safe again. We've got the best people will deliver. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what sort of boss are you to your team? I delegate a lot. It's 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 so insightful. It makes you think about yourself. It's really nice. I like this. Uh, I delegate a lot. I have a great team, and they can be trusted to make good decisions. These interviews are 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 also gameplay. They influence, of course, all the all the stakeholders and how they look at you. Uh, but as well as well, just like the press releases, they're a way to make the player have also a discussion with their themselves as it were uh, consider what they're doing uh, and and ask themselves what am I actually doing which one of these things is true uh, and it we, we try to help all sorts of things in the game push you to self-reflection uh, to consider topics uh, in a in a realistic fashion about these these sort of uh, pressures hmm now I can call out one of them, one of the people in my team, and it, it would not be good for the other ones that are not called out. Uh, we all try our very best, we just hope uh, it'll be enough. Tap is kind of down, I'll, I'll praise her. Uh, you're facing a threat that seems to have significant resources. Can you keep up with them, logistically speaking? The police department is committed, committing to seeing a safety resort. We believe we can. <clears throat> These people, they don't need to follow the rules while we do. Hopefully, the red tape won't cost lives. Such organizations try to create the appearance of wielding more power than they really have. We'll get them. This sounds good. Uh, it's going to see safety ring. Yeah, I'll go with this one. What comes first in your investigation? Disarming the pawns or getting to the leaders? Yeah, what comes first, Bogdan? <laughs> I have no idea! <laughs> <coughs> Time to learn fast. The first step is surely disarming the pawns to keep people safe. You only need to be really sure of uh, what you're saying. Uh, the only real way to really bring them down uh, will be to get to the leaders. I'm afraid I can't just share such strategic uh, procedural details. Um, disarming the pawns to keep people safe sounds good to the audience, I believe. Why not? What do they want? I want to give them uh, as little airtime as possible. It's what they want, so no comment on the liberation front. They seem to have a disjointed political ideology that preys on dissatisfaction. We're still trying to understand it. Just a bunch of psychos that need to be stopped. The rest is fluff. Uh, I'll actually go into it and I'll say, um, I'll say, I'll take the second one. Uh, have they made any demands? No, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Uh, even if they wanted, we wouldn't contemplate entering any demands. Just vague and coherent propaganda about a new future terrorists. Leaders have to set unachievable objectives to keep power. Nah, they're anar anarchists, crazies. They're, there's no calming them down. I'll go for the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it the right answer? How can people at home help the task force? The task force is taking care of this. People should support the boys in blue. Be vigilant and safe. 
be alert and report suspicious behavior immediately. This Liberation Front wants people scared, refuse to be afraid, uh, go on with your life uninterrupted. Okay, support the boys in blue, baby. What time frame uh, are we looking at? What will be, uh, when we, will we be rid of this threat? The point to our action is firstly to make people safe. We'll do that for as long as it takes. We'll crush these maggots before the end of the year. Um, these are still the initial phases of our operation. We can't share any timeline details. Um, yeah, I'll go for the first one. Thank you for the interview. Thank you, Eddie. Three yeses. <laughs> okay, so... An improvement in two or three areas. Uh, popularity uh, is good. Um, but actually, authorities... You can see that it increased. Yeah, uh, yeah, authorities' approval decreased. By a bit, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we found them, but they seem to uh, just be trying to sell their products. No discernible link to the Liberation Front. Okay, pursue informer. We haven't reached out to her, but we got a lead on a girl whose boyfriend might be involved with the Liberation Front. Uh, we can try to convince her to talk to us. We managed to squeeze out some more funds for our next budget. Yeah, baby. Good work. Good job, Tab. That shout out. Yeah, that shout out, right? Okay, what's this? this oh, is the index of my memory. My superpowers. <laughs> this this keyboard just says brand. That's its brand. <laughs> Beautiful. Where are you guys at? We're uh Oh, we have Jennifer Oh, approaching. yeah, I know where you at. First campaign is exposed. Oh, she was gunning for my position. Bullshit uh, rumors fly really easily, so just wanted to reassure you that I'm fully on board right behind you. Thanks, Jenny. Really means a lot. After all, the best leaders are also the best followers. Right you are. If I had any idea, I would have uh, told the chief to give it to you. This responsibility feels like a lot. No, she will dig me up for this. Thank you for the reassurance, Reyes. Step up your game and you'll lead your own unit in no time. Glad to hear it, Jen. Let's do good work, whoever's managing this. I like this one. Seems boy scouty. 10-4, boss, 10-4. My door's always open. Uh, I've read your file, Jennifer. Or Martha Hughes. I need... To, I, I actually need to read her file. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Is this dangerous if I say this to It her? might have helped if you would have... Uh, read the file. But you can try. <laughs> but Let's just see what happens. <laughs> oh... But maybe something romantic would, will happen between my character. No, no chance for that. Right? Don't look at me, man. <laughs> it's not like I wrote it. Oh, I wasn't... <laughs> where you had access to that. What about it? I just wanted to... If I wouldn't have clicked that, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't... Yeah, this is nice. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to... Uh... I just wanted you to know that I know. Just wanted to say you did the right thing there. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you, you let a murderer go free. You, I won't you, have that on this team. Understood? Oh my god. You're gonna have to make a call. And then you're gonna get to read and find out what call you made. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so you just... Make and, and this is basically all our fault because we're rushing uh, Bogdan to stream. He's the type that would have read everything. Um, but yeah, what now? I... Um, Okay, you let a murderer go free, Jennifer. This is what you did. Should we be merciful on Bogdan and tell him? No, no. <laughs> It'll be funner when he reads afterwards. <laughs> I just wanted to you to know that I know seems honest. <laughs> Although I don't. Okay. Yes, your power has been asserted. Great job. No, that's not what I was trying to do, Jennifer. <laughs> I'll be at my desk 
Can I casually go by her desk and try to talk to her like tomorrow? <laughs> But something's happening. Oh, uh, I've been at it for a while now and I've managed to figure out what most keywords mean. It's hard to figure out specifics, but we have some broad findings. The folks in the chat room are just a wing of the whole operation, though. And I think I've stumbled uh, uh, onto something big. The South Bank Mall, something today, the planning, uh, planting of a package. In front of the Do Not Lawn store. <laughs> Okay, apparently they'll have some uh, they'll have someone there. I'm not sure what they're supposed to do though. Tab. Uh, we should have the place canvassed ASAP. Let's move. We have three suspects in custody. One of them can potentially be our prep. The only three we noticed to linger near the Duathlon store. Uh, that is before the three of them got tangled up in an incident and we had to intervene. This is, a de this is detailed in the file I drafted up in here. One of them is the one I just remembered, I didn't read her file, but none of that anymore, mister. Um, one of them is the one working on the Liberation Front's order, it has to be, okay. I've checked the chat room again. I now think we're dealing with a planted bomb. Oh shit, okay. Sweet baby Jesus, okay. Uh, we're on the clock, boss, of course we are. Lives are at stake, always are. We need the explosive devices location. Okay, so I'll need to make one of them feel guilty. Uh, so we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna give Bogdan one try before we wrap up the stream. Uh, let's see if he gets it in one. If he doesn't, he'll have to continue at home, and you guys will have to continue it. Uh, the game's out now. You can uh, do your own crack, find out what that Martha Hughes thing is with Jennifer, perhaps. Uh, let's see how his first attempt goes. Yeah, I okay. really like how you, you just like let him straight run into that, like just <laughs> shoot himself in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So do you want the same file or are you gonna start a new one where you actually read that? No, I'll, I'll, I'll start a new one, definitely. <laughs> um, the only three people present at the location specified by the secret chat room conversation were brought in for immediate questioning. As our officers were arriving at the scene, two of the individuals found at the scene were involved in a conflict. Daniel Wilson, a security guard working within the commercial complex, forcefully apprehended Bakil Medana and exposed that the latter individual carried a concealed firearm. The third individual, Saman, Samantha Lowe, uh, was seen uh, talking to Daniel Wilson by our agents uh, as they were arriving at the scene, just prior to the subsequent conflict between Wilson and Medana. The chat room conversation revealed that at least one of these individuals was due to signal the successful planting of a timed bomb at a nearby location by being present and seen on the walkway. Experts estimate that the location of the bomb must uh, be extracted within minutes if the bomb squad wants to disable the device in time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Daniel Wilson is a retired Marine. He uh, takes care of his ailing mother and struggles to keep up, uh, up with the escalating medical bills. Poor guy. He, uh, he was operating as a security guard at the location of the incident and is one of the three people uh, at the scene who could have planted the bomb. He is the person's, uh, person who apprehended Bakil Medana as he was attempting to leave the premises. Wilson appears to be a close friend of Samantha Lowe, uh, who he was entertaining before getting involved in the, in the incident with Mandana. Wilson frequently visits Christian's conservative website, is an active supporter of gun rights and firmly opposed to political correctness. Okay. Samantha Lowe is an interior decorator and animal rights activist and she does not plant bombs, okay? Engaged to be wed in a month, or is she? I don't know. Okay. Um, 
ISP enforced tracking. Come on, she has a uh, wedding coming up. She has different things, right? Look at her. Um, okay. And for uh, engaged to be wed in a month, ISP enforced tracking shows that her IP was accessed, Liberation Front content per training to claims of repression of man and beast. Um, she was engaged in conversation with Daniel Wilson at the time of the incident and was one of the only three people at the scene. She has increased premiums on her bank debts uh, with the bank threatening to crash the mortgage. Okay, here's the motive, the possible motive. On the flat she shares with her fiance maybe her fiance used the laptop and this is the actual <laughs> guy that drove me here uh, <laughs> bakil medana arrived in the country on a student visa seven years ago he enrolled to study materials engineering but has no record of attendance after his third year at the university Past the visa's expiration date, he seems to have remained in the country illegally, poor guy, likely working on the black market. There are very few official records on his activity since he has been sending regular payments to bank accounts in his home ca country. Uh, he was one of the three people at this uh, specific, specified site within the uh, developing situation despite being summoned to not leave the premises He attempted to flee. He was stopped and held by Daniel Wilson. This guy did not do it. I'm positive Because he drove you here. Yes, because he drove me here. I mean um, And I'll go for the girl first Samantha You know why uh, we brought you in Miss Lowe? Okay, five seconds also passing by for each question. I don't know. I don't know anything about any of that stuff. It's about a related investigation, but with much bigger stakes. You're in the, you are the main suspect in a terrorist plot. I suspect your full cooperation. I'll go. I'll go bad cop on this. What me? How? What? They seem confused. Okay, she's really not open, but she she's um, be beginning to express fear. I don't have time to beat around the bush. You'll uh, you will either cooperate or face formal charges. It's not an accusation, at least not yet. No, I'll go bad cop. They push back from the table. Okay, uh, formal charges for what? So do you now understand why you're here? I have some questions about you. Tell me about the incident at the mall. Have you heard about the Liberation Front? I'll uh, just... Uh, they are the terrorist group, right? What do you think of them? They're awful, right? Uh, again, what do you think of them, Sven? They're awful. Oh, God. I have some questions about you. Okay. Are you living in the city? Any family I should know of? Where are you employed? Mm. My dad and my sister know. Uh, is your dad well? Uh, is your sister as pretty as you? That that would be out of line. Um, where are you employed? I work in HR for a large company, small stuff. Um. Yes, with my fiance. So you live in the city. So uh, okay, change the subject. I'm losing time here. Incident at the mall with Danny and the guy. Okay, did you know this? Anything suspicious about Mr. Medana, the other man involved in the incident? So Medana had a gun, right? Yes. And Medana is the the student. Okay. Uh, did you... How about Madonna? Uh, okay. I only noticed him when Danny had already pinned him down. Okay. Hint. Daniel claims to get to be good friends with Samantha. See if that checks out. Okay. So you and Daniel notice each other? Well, yes, of course. We went to high school together. Okay. Up on... Uh, up on that floor okay new hint he said he wanted to talk about something confess i think he said he never got to it oh my god okay maybe he loves her or maybe he planted a bomb 
and the hint says Samantha and Daniel called her to meet urgently, tried to find out what was on Daniel's mind. Okay. The chat so, is a bit worried for you taking the bad cop route. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because I am such a bad, bad cop because I tried being <laughs> a rough, like being a bit rough with uh, suspects in the past and it did not work out well for me. I'm not good at this. <laughs> well, with Samantha, it's uh, water under the bridge, right? <laughs> it's, I can't do anything about that. I'm, I'll lose time uh, if I try to solve, uh, open her up again. Um, okay, change the subject. Uh, Samantha, where's the bomb? I'll just go for it. I do not know. I really don't. They state lowering their voice. I kind of want to roughen her up a bit, but I won't hit a lady yet. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go to Daniel. Okay, let them know. Uh, what the stakes are. What the fuck? You're going to drop those charges on me just like that? I don't have time to beat around the bush. You will either cooperate or fail. It's not an accusation, at least not yet. This is why I need you to answer my questions fully and honestly. I'll go for this one. Maybe I'll try to open him up. Of course I will ask your question and let's get this over with. So, uh, do you now understand why you're here? My file on you is incomplete. I have some questions. Let's talk about the manual uh, questions. Um, are you living in the city? Born and raised, I love this place. So you say, okay, any family I should know of? Just my mom. You live with your mom? Okay. Yes, I do. She's sick, so I take care. Okay. Yellow question. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about that. As I said, I need to open him up more. As I said, the medical bills for... Uh, I'll maybe come back to this after I open him up. Um, security guard at the mall. Uh, in front of... Uh, I read in the file that you're a former soldier. I can make sure you never find work again if you don't cooperate, Daniel. No, I'm... okay. Uh, yes, I used to be with the Marine Corps. Okay. Why did you become a soldier? Maybe this will open him up. Why aren't you on active duty anymore? Duty to protect this great country and the things in it. This is definitely our guy. Um, doesn't your sense of duty extend to the people that might be hurt by this terrorist plot? Not yet, not yet. I will ask it, but not yet. I always thought soldiers are like cops, except that they don't do anything useful on a typical day. That wouldn't work. Did you work, did you work with explosives during your time in the... Uh, I'll ask why he's not on duty anymore. I asked to be pulled out, I couldn't be away anymore, had to stay home. Why? Uh, uh, if I ask this again, will I get a different answer? Again, why? Okay, no. I always thought soldiers are like cops. You might be able to find the answer you're looking for elsewhere. Damn it! <laughs> um, I'll ask about explosives, though. No. Yeah, grenades, C4, all sorts, basic training. Mm, not the answer I was looking for. Okay. Let's ask him about Samantha. Yeah, thank you. I can make sure you never find one. No. Um, Talk about the man. Uh, there was a woman with you at the moment. Was she? Just someone I know from high school. Okay. 
Ah, so you know each other, what can you tell me about her? Uh, what was she doing there? She told me that you wanted to confess something to her. What was she talking about? I'll go for this one. No? Mm, oh, damn it. No, I'll go for this one. Uh, it really isn't important and I am not comfortable talking about this. If you love her, I want to know. Uh, what can you tell me about her? Not much. <laughs> Damn it, time is ticking. The clock is ticking. Um, just happened to be uh, passing through. This is a lie. About the woman who was uh, okay. I read something about him. What do you think of them? They're a bunch of murderous psychos. Oh. I'm really excited to see whether you can do it. I believe in you. You can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's fill in your first file. Tell me about yourself. What were you doing at the mall? Why did you run away from the security guard? Shopping as people do. And the gun? I got it for defense. I uh, have to live in a very dangerous neighborhood. You'll be facing... I'll go good cop on this one. Yeah, he opened up quite a lot. We'll just confiscate the gun and not charge you, but you need to help us. Thank you. So, okay. Um, why did you run away from the security guard? Maybe because I had an illegal gun from my protection tucked away on me. Okay. So, uh, not to ru ruin your immersion, uh, Bogdan, but how are you uh, feeling right now? What are your uh, I'm emotions? I'm stressed out. I'm really stressed <laughs> out. As, I, as a player. I, okay, stress. I don't... I believe in myself, but I... I mm. <laughs> well, to a certain extent, stress is what we were going for uh, as an experience. Uh, sometimes, uh, I think... Immersion will lead to that. Yeah, and I think games should also give you a, a wide range of emotions, from uh, exaltation and uh, excitement to uh, stress and uh, confusion. So I'm glad that you're stressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we've also had some comments in the chat from people who have already bought and played the game and uh, saying like that the clock is really fast and like it's, <laughs> it's uh, very hard to get everything done in time. There's always seconds, thirds, fourth tries. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So we have two comments, one from Cookie saying the immersion is awesome in this game, and one from Kenneth saying my stress was high but I understand why they did that. Can you thank the devs for me, loving the game and immersion? I just did that, Kenneth. So. Our pleasure, that, that's what we're going for. Uh, Immersion is objective in this game and also means, means for you to treat all these topics seriously uh, and uh, we worked hard to get that immersion and we're glad it's uh, paying off. I'll roughen him up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe you'd rather talk to the wall. Should I also taste him? Whoa! You kind of asked the question and then you delivered all your the answer oh, yourself. Okay. So now he's he's super scared. Uh, he, and he really doesn't like you, which like who would um, who would? <laughs> you just taste him. Okay. Yes! Yes, baby! <laughs> Did you win? Yes! Oh shit. There was a lot of voltage involved. Oh! Oh shit. <laughs> sorry for everyone's ears. Uh, sorry, sorry, okay. I hope you're you have not, uh, You're down. not completely oh done yet. God. Better seal the deal. 
You better fucking tell me uh, where that motherfucking Bob is, or I swear, I this this would be the words I would use, or I swear uh, on all that is holy that I'll shoot your you you right here through the mouth, Wilson. <laughs> okay, look, whatever they did, they're not a uh, you're not a murderer, and no, I'll go good cop now. I I I um I. Mission is accomplished. Get the taser in. Now her. that he has second degree yeah. burns on his body. Yes, I, I am a warrior of the light. <laughs> <clears throat> can't can't abandon her. They'll get to her. She's sick. Okay, look, if this is about your mom, I'll promise I'll make sure she's taken care of. I swear on my badge. With medical debt piling up, Daniel has a potential motive to work for the liberation front and try to find out. Uh, why he was at the scene. Well, I guess you're a bit beyond that. Just saying that now she'll die, you wouldn't really see to her. Well, you're right? the you're the guy that just tastes him, so... <laughs> His yeah. trust level might be... Yeah. We have a question from Kenneth. Uh, they are asking, what does the game mean by using headphones to play? Um, it's just a, it's just a sound thing. For, uh, for best immersion, uh, for that you're it, fully in. It's better to be kind of uh, separated from the rest of the world <laughs> in that. Yeah, like the soundtrack is really amazing and it, it changes subtly. Like I, I noticed when I played for the first time, I was just like trucking along, not oh, listening God. to the music really actively. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And then like suddenly uh, it, I, I noticed that it had changed from before. Yeah, it does. I really like it. Just like the art, the sound carries you through. Yeah. Uh, the music wasn't really turned up here where, I, where I'm playing, but uh, the, 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 there are, there's like a rhythm that gets you into that mood. Uh, you, you can hear it in So, we any... successfully disarmed the devices twice in time, saving dozens of lives. Well, now we hear this. Then the news started coming in from all around the city. There were more bombs, right? Uh, at least another bomb. Two other explosions happened close to the same time ours was set to. Dozens of casualties. I have a question, because and my the rest of my night goes uh, <clears throat> depends on it. <laughs> uh, could I have stopped this? That's something to uh, thank play you, thank and find you. out. Okay. And you knew that was gonna be the answer. Yeah. So, uh, now we have another press release, there's gonna be a full debrief about what's going on. Um, and this is just the beginning of interrogation, there's a lot more ahead, it gets uh, thicker, harder, more, uh, more in there. Uh, interrogation is out, uh, it's on Steam, grab it. Uh, we're here, uh, look, for, look for us, uh, send us your questions, we'll be in touch. Uh, and enjoy, enjoy interrogation, tell us what you think. Rebecca? Yeah, you can find the links to the stores uh, in the description uh, of the YouTube uh, stream. And also, if you're already watching on Steam, you know where to buy it. It's on Steam, GOG and Humble. And you can always join our Discord as well to uh, ask the developers directly. Yeah. Enjoy thank your you. engagement with the Liberation Front. <laughs> good day, good like night, it. everyone. Oh, yeah. Good night, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Nebunia. -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.